The moment you've been waiting for, I am opening the mystery reptile. Oh, he's so tiny. He is so tiny, guys. Look how tiny he is. Oh, he's so cute. Hey guys, how's it going? Today is a big day because we're finally revealing the rare mystery reptile I got. It is actually right behind you guys. Olivia, do not turn around. Do not spoil the surprise. We are going to do a proper unboxing today, so let's get to it. I'm just wrapping up, feeding Max some super worms. That's what I'm feeding her today. Wow, my voice just cut out. But let's go. <laughs> Let's get to the video, we'll do the unboxing, and then we'll do some feeding and just cage maintenance, what I'm doing so far. Let's go. Before continuing, huge shout out to Coops Reptiles and Randy M on Facebook. I'd say his full last name, but I don't know if he wants me to, and I doubt he'll see this. But I want to thank you too, because you guys have been very helpful in the setup for this reptile, especially Coops Reptiles. Definitely check him out. I will put the link to his channel in the description. All right, guys. So the moment you've been waiting for, I am opening the mystery reptile. So let's get to it. So I have a couple extra things in here that he sent along to help me out because I am putting it even in a smaller enclosure than anticipated for the first couple months. This is what the breeder has done himself and he recommends it until they get a little bit bigger, just a little bit easier to manage and take care of. So he just gave me some fake plants and a UVB bowl for free just to help out. By the way, MOC Reptiles is where I got it from. Shout out to them. They are in Miami, I believe. So let's check this out, guys. Oh, he even gave me some isopods. That's cool. That's nice of him. Yeah, that's super nice. Awesome. So, funny story. You guys can't even see me. Funny story. I ordered isopods, two different species, from a website, and they sent me this random plant <laughs> that I don't even know what it is. With no invoice. No, no invoice. No label. It, like no clue very weird, but that actually is clutch right there. So thanks a lot for that He's done a lot of nice stuff man. This was nice of him. I really appreciate that Packaging looks really good and tight. I'm really happy with that. Oh, he's so tiny. He is so tiny guys Oh, I got the UVB bulb here. Let me get him out first. because he looks like he's blocking everything else Hi, post-editing John here. You're about to see what this new reptile is, but first you gotta subscribe. So make sure to hit that subscribe button or I will make sure you never figure out what it is, even though it's like three seconds after this. All right guys, hit that bell notification as well. <laughs> Was that good? Yeah. Can you guys see him? Hold on. Look how tiny he is. He's so tiny. Oh my God, that is so cute giving me the death stare right there. He looks to be in good shape, made the trip good overnight, of course. I am super excited, guys. This is one of my dream reptiles. As most of you know, big plant right here. I have my dog super interested in behind me. Let's see what else there was. Okay, cool. And then the reptile sun, man. I really, I'm almost as excited about the reptile as I am these isopods. <laughs> what we'll do is I don't want to handle them too much, stress them out too much. So let's just go put them in the enclosure and we'll observe them. I probably will put them in, let him get his bearings, and then we'll take some more footage of them. All right, so let's go ahead and put him or her in and hopefully you can get a little bit of a view of this. Be very careful though. There we go. I don't know what attitude this little one has right now, so I gotta be kind of particular. Hold on, let me pop this open a little bit. Hey, there we go. All right, hi little one. Hi. Wanna go in your enclosure? Oh, sorry guys. There we go. Here you go, little cutie. And he is in. We're gonna do a feeding. I recorded it last night, but before that, we are gonna go ahead and just talk about the enclosures real quick. Like I mentioned in the last video, I actually downgraded to a 12 by 12 by 18 size enclosure. While this guy is a little baby, 
I was recommended to do this by the breeder, so, you know, I'm trying to follow things to a T, like I mentioned on Discord and such with this guy, since there's not a lot of information, at least in the U.S., on this guy, and they're not a very popular kept reptile. They are definitely rare, especially in the U.S. Pardon the echo, but I do have the adult enclosure on standby. I'm going to be doing a lot of cool things with this, guys. A DIY background, live plants. It's going to be the full works. Really exciting stuff coming. This is what, I think the 36 by 18 by 36 size enclosure. And this should be good for an adult size Boyd's Flyer's Dragon. I might upgrade eventually to even bigger if I think that's doable and definitely beneficial to the reptile, but we'll have to see. The next several months, this will definitely be the home though. Definitely not that bad of an enclosure for how tiny it is though. A couple nice twigs and logs if you want to call it that. And then I tried to simulate a little bit of a canopy with some of these fake plants. I have a water bowl there that I actually do see him or her run through from time to time. A little hide, which I doubt that uh, he or her will actually go inside, but I thought I'd give that option. And then we have a low UVB bulb. I'm actually going to be using a strip bulb in the new enclosure, but I got hooked up by MOC Reptiles for this one, so I am happy to use it, and it should definitely be enough for this little guy for the next several months. I also have two probes in there right now just to make sure I really keep tabs on the temperature and humidity. One I took out because if I spray down the enclosure, and it's in there, it will get damaged because it's not waterproof apparently. But those two are in there. Humidity, I usually keep above 80%, usually sitting in the 90s right now. And temperature usually ranges from low 70s at night to high 70s during the day. All right guys, it's chow time. So let's go ahead, see if we can get him or her to eat. Right now, it is primarily a cricket diet. Oh, very hungry. Awesome. There we go. I got some nice Patreon footage of him or her eating just the other day that I posted on Patreon. But I'm happy that we have an enthusiastic Boyd's Forest Dragon right now. I don't I don't know what to call him. Boydy. <laughs> I don't have a name for him or her just yet. So uh, we'll just deal with my nonsense until then. But a little fussy the other day when trying to feed. But um... This time around, looks a lot better. Awesome. Good sign though. Obviously, when a reptile's in a new environment, they could be a little stressed and not want to eat too much or right away. I love how this one, I don't know if this is a common forest dragon thing, but holds on to the cricket in its, or her, his mouth before devouring it. It's kind of funny. I don't, I don't know why they do that. But uh, this one does it quite a bit. And in fact, when I got a video of this one sent to me before shipped out, they did a feeding and he or she uh, did the same thing, which is holding the cricket in the mouth. So that was interesting. Let's see. Go for another one. Yeah, we want another one. I just can't annoy him or her too much because then they're like, oh no. Oh, that's the one way to annoy him. Now after feeding, I usually got to do a spray down of the enclosure because I had the door open for so long. So that's what I'm doing real quick right now. And I usually let him or her have an attempt at a drink since they prefer moving water over still water. Now they do have a water bowl in there. You've probably seen it already or he or she does, but they do prefer that moving water. So let's go ahead try to get her very daintily or him very daintily so annoying having to jump between him or her maybe you should just tell me already guy so let's see I don't think there's any water needing right now although I cannot really see what's going on because he or she's facing away from me oh it looks like there might be some water drinking oh no I think maybe they just don't want water oh no guy okay I stop Anyway, guys, that's the video today. We have a new family member of Boyd's Forest Dragon. 
one of my five dream reptiles. I'm super excited to see the journey with this guy, but a couple announcements before we wrap up the video. Shout out to the patrons, Smooth Cat, Angela L, Herb M, and David T. Thanks so much for supporting the Patreon. You guys too can support the Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Check the top right for more information. Want some cool reptile merch? We've got four designs. I'll be to the left of my head, right of your screen. I'm wearing my standard Professor Herb shirt, but we have Tegu, Aki Monitor, and Bearded Dragon designs. Really cool stuff. Best merch I've seen out there. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know. Are you excited? Are you ecstatic? Give me some names for this guy. I don't know yet, but we'll have to figure it out. Maybe we'll do a vote eventually. See you guys next time.